Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be starting a series of dev vlogs. A dev vlog, for those who don't know, is a vlog that people make when they're trying to develop something. I like to watch game dev vlogs, and I want to get back into making games. So I'm going to be doing dev vlogs. I have been trying to do studio vlogs. I haven't made one in a while. I don't do a lot in life for that to warrant a studio vlog or a life vlog. But if I'm doing game dev, I can vlog stuff about the game dev. So I'm enjoying that content now, so I want to try making that content. We'll see how far I go. But I figured to start this series, I would show you some games that I have made in the past. They're very rough. They're not very good, but, you know, I can show you that I at least used to kind of know how to do it. Not very well, but I could do it. And to start off, I'm going to show you my virtual piano. I should probably put on headphones so that way there's an echo. Let me get my headphones. Okay, so here's my first game. This is a virtual piano. I'm sure you've seen those before. Um, menus. I made all of the art myself. Every game you see, I made with a mouse the art, the sounds I use, Sony Acid, the platform or program that I used to make games themselves was Game Maker. The only thing I didn't make was music. I don't know how to make music, so. Everything else I made myself. Oh yeah, and fonts. I didn't make fonts, but I did like make this logo myself, but whatever. Um, so here's the first game and you can click. Yeah, see, so you can click on it or you can press buttons. And there are chords. So it's supposed to be like, um, let's see. So yeah, you were able to like do that. I sort of, I sort of gave up this because trying to save each individual tone got very confusing very fast, and um, I didn't want to deal with it. So this is pretty much all there is to this. I didn't get very far, but it's okay. The next game I'm going to show you is Blocks. This is a breakout style game. I spent a lot of time on this game. I programmed in this game, which I'm proud of. Um, I don't remember how to do it, but I, I, I did it at the time. I programmed it for this game. I made a breaking block system for like blocks that take more than one hit to break. It was very long-winded and not very good, but it got the job done. I had fun doing all of the like um, advertisement and stuff for it. Here's the how to play page, you can literally like practice on the how to play thing. This is one of the reasons why I say my games aren't very good. You can kind of bully it into not being stuck, but it's kind of hard. <laughs> but this is the basic premise of the game, to be perfectly honest with you. This is it. Oops, I lost one. Thank you. 
And there's also a game over bit if you die, so I'm gonna let it lose. <coughs> you can choose to play the whole game over, replay level. But if you replay level, it minuses a thousand points. But yeah, that's basically the game. There's a bunch of levels, but I don't have the file to show you each level, and I'm not playing this whole game. But, um, yeah, this is basically the game. Then we have Fluffertini's Pizza Constructor. This is probably my favorite. Um, this image right here with the, with the pizza. I used the actual game to make that pizza to put into the game, like, into, like, the graphics. Um, the pizza on his hat. The pizza slices. I made a pizza in the game. I took a screenshot, and then I cut a pizza slice out <laughs> to, like, put on the on the hat. The same for the cursor. The cursor is also made out of a pizza slice made inside the game itself, so I actually used the game to make graphics for the game. Um, I could pick three bases. What Junimo? My kitty's trying to get comfy. Aww. You're a baby. You can, you can pick out a background uh, or a base and just choose the double cheese. Here's the topping index. It just says what everything is. And that's a simple concept. You drag and you drop. It's buggy, as you can see. Like it lit, lit, lit up when it wasn't supposed to and stuff, but... You can also right click to remove stuff. But the problem with that is if you let go and then you want to like remove things. If you, well, Let's say you have wind cheese and then a pe pepperoni. And then you want to move the pepperoni. I mean, there you go. It'll like pile up. And you have to remove both things at once. It's kind of a pain but and also that can happen. <laughs> that bug right there. But I made this game in a week, so for a week I'm still happy with it. It, it was cute. I'm, I, I like it. But yeah, that's basically the game. You can restart the room. And you can just pick a different base. It's the same thing. Um, same thing. And then there's also like the how to play that tells you what everything is. A little chart. And that's basically the game. This air, this eart, yeah, eart, this eart, this art has not um, aged very well. But and then we're gonna go through um, my uh, Tilly's Rose Garden games. Tilly's Rose Garden was a maze puzzle game. It had Tilly the toucan. Uh, you'll see her when you, I open the game. Whoops, I didn't want that game. Whoops. Here's the first ever Tilly's Rose Garden demo. Th this is, this, this is, a, there's no menu, there's no anything. The sounds cut each other off. You don't have to get all of the points to pass the level. Which is kind of how the game always was. And then you just go to the next level. And that's basically the game. At least at the start. Later on there are puzzles. Um, so... That's the first ever version. Oh, I gotta press escape. Um, and then I made... Another demo. At least this time we have a menu now. And some buttons, and it says how to play. The sound is still not very good. There's no music. The levels are pretty much the same, but I filled them out a little bit. Also, if you can see, I didn't know how to remove the, the cursor not to be there, so it's double cursors. 
Frick! We're gonna go this way. But yeah, this game... It was rough. Uh, it all looks about the same. This is all just the same thing. I did add some more like little cutesy graphics and things, but that's it was about the same. And then if we go to this one, which is wi winter. So I was starting a series called Tilly's Rose Garden Seasons. You have winter, spring, summer, fall, and I figured I could use those games to learn how to make a full Tilly's Rose Garden game. And I was thinking maybe just combining all four to make a big game with extra levels or something. I never got that far. But here is Tilly's Rose Garden Seasons. <coughs> I go bring. So... As you can see, the game has music now. Um, so what happened is, I was really into Summertime's End. Let me turn this down a little bit, actually. Uh, I was really into Summertime's End. Uh, that was a one-off creator who was making music inspired by Owl City. And he had an instrumental album, and I emailed him, Daniel Throssell. I asked him, hey, can I use your music for my game? I'll credit you and everything. I'm not just going to just take it. He's like, yeah, sure. So I was using his game, his um, music for my game, like my game series, because it fit the aesthetic. So as you can see, the menus got much prettier and cleaner. You can pick a level, how to play, and it like shows you gameplay, how it works points and power-ups and at this point I just had the hammers and the blocks then we have enemies which instead of having scarecrows I had ice blocks a boot and this poly uh, player movement I've made it so you can do the arrow keys and WASD and also let you know you can do diagonal and um yeah, so play game. At this point, I also remade the um, sprite. So um, <clears throat> for this, as you can see, I remade the sprite, and also because it's winter, you see how it's kind of supposed to be kind of like ice. That was kind of like this game's quirk. You slide around, so we just like wee. But because of that, I had to make the gaps often like too wide because of the sliding. Like right here, because it's against the wall, it's fine. But because of the sliding, it made it nearly impossible to get into, um, what's it called? Entrances. So you kind of had to um, deal with the sliding in some way. So I just made the entrances two blocks wide. That hammer let me into this room that has another hammer. This is when I was trying to learn how to make puzzles. And this hammer lets me be able to get to the ending. I was trying to make it so that you don't just like pick up four points and then you're done. You have to actually participate in the game in some way. So that was what I was doing. Of course, once I added puzzles, <laughs> if it was like, I have to make it hard, but also I suck at puzzles. So I was like, how do I make this game where I can test it, but also it's hard. Because I can't really play hard puzzles. So that's basically this game. Okay, I just want to show you real quick the level names. Because in this one, you can pick a level. I wanted to eventually have it where you, as you unlock levels, you get a certain point. You can just start there, but you start at zero points. Um, but I never got that far. <laughs> But here's your pick a level, and I named them after songs. So Peppermint Winter in Alaska is named after Adam Young songs. Adam Young is, is Owl City. Alaska is from his Sky Sailing album, and Peppermint Winter I think was just like a one-off. I'm pretty sure Ryu Chiyu is a uh, Christmas song. And then Let It Go, obviously Frozen. And then Once Upon a December from um, Anastasia. So I just thought that was fun.
My extended demo. Yes. <coughs> I don't know why this is black and white. The video should be in color. I passed that. That wasn't a video. I passed that. I was actually proud. <coughs> so as you can tell, there's music, and once again, using art from the game to be part of the something else. This is a level, and I used it to make the background look cohesive, I guess. So once again, how to play is the same principle. You got enemies, you got moving your player power-ups and this is when I started to add a lot more stuff to it so I have the hammers and the flower blocks and then I have these like gates and keys and then I have this which turns the enemy harmless for a few seconds and these turn the points uh, the the negative points they turn them into positive points and then this is speed and um, yeah, we'll just start playing it for a minute. <coughs> this is literally like the same game, but like improved. I filled up all the empty spaces. The sounds don't over don't stop anymore. They overlap. The character sprite was improved from the original, original. I'm gonna jump cut ahead to when I find a puzzle, because this is all the same gameplay you've seen already. Alright, so here is a puzzle. I admittedly should have made him start earlier than level 7, but it is what it is. So here's the challenge. I'm not going to grab all these points, but as you can see I had more points, more point sounds. You need to <coughs> get this key, which opens that door. Honestly, the last speed was a little OP. <coughs> so then you go in here, and you've unlocked the, the, the door to get to the last of the level, or the end of the level, whatever. But now, you need to go in here, with that enemy, to unlock the last door to get out. So the puzzles were pretty simple. I'm Pretty sure the next level had a puzzle too, which was harder, if I remember right. Yeah, this one is kind of hard too, so we'll do this one also. This was the last finished thing that I had, that I had already like exported or whatever. Let me see, what order do I need to go in? Um, okay. Oopsie. So basically, this was the last thing that I have finished. I do have screenshots of what I updated this to be that I never finished. See that changed the points um, from taking points to adding points. Okay, so that opened what? That opened over here. All right. So you go in here. And that unlocked that one down there, which unlocked the hammer. And I just made all of the negative points that were pansies into points. And now we can kind of speed on through. Last key.
and that's about the gist of this game. Um, I do have screenshots of the newest game. Um, when I find them, I will clip that in next. <laughs> but um, that's the gist of my games that I've made. They're not very good. They're not very fun, maybe even. Um, I, I thought the pizza one was fun. Uh, well, you know what? They were, they're not that bad. They're kind of fun. They're just not very good. <laughs> And you know what? They don't have to be good. It's okay. But, um, that's my games. And, um, yeah. I will jump cut now to when I find some screenshots of the last version that I was working on of this before I abandon it. And, um, yeah. Here we go. I found the image I was looking for. So here you can see old graphics versus the new graphics. Of what changed like here's the old flowers and here's the new flowers let me open it so I'll grant you zooming in makes it blurry but if you look on the old side look just look at the like roses you're used to seeing and then look at them on the other side they all got a great makeover um, I'm trying to see did I change anything on anything else no, I don't know if I did or not. If I did, it was subtle. But the main thing was like the the roses, the small roses. It, I've greatly improved the graphics. Like, look at that. Like, look at that. Look, look how much better it looks. Um, <coughs> I'm still looking for spring screenshots. Uh... Okay, here's a screenshot of how far I got, basically. Here is how it looked before I abandoned it. So we have new blocks that are like the ice spikes, but they are like rosebush blocks. Um, all of the graphics greatly improved. I wanted shadows. I didn't know how to make shadows without putting it in the image. When I did that, it made the image too big. It, it was a whole thing. Um... Her sprite changed again, so I can have her eyes animate. <coughs> you had lives, a health bar, and a score bar, so it's not like up in the corner somewhere. Um, I changed the gates to instead being of uh, being the uh, the red faces. It was like flower blocks, and your keys were hoes and rakes you can see a hoe here and a rake here i had some enemies this was a snail um i don't see oh, there's a caterpillar but he's kind of small i'll look for the animated bits and if i can find them i'll show them to you but basically you had new enemies that moved and then also were animated I figured out the tile system in Game Maker, so that was fun. It was a lot. I was proud of how far I got, but I did have to eventually abandon it. So I'm going to show you the animations, and then that's probably going to be it for this vlog. But yeah, let's just look at the animations real quick. Um, so if this is just like a GIF I made of a recording showing the um, sprite. As you can see, and now she blinks, and she has a three-quarter view that also blinks. Does it show? Yeah, I show three-quarter view, kinda from the back. But um, yeah, there you go. But um, yeah, so we have that, and then here's an enemy. This was supposed to be a caterpillar. Um. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, even though it's years old. Yeah, it's a little weird and wobbly, but you know what? It's a worm. What, what do you expect? This was meant to be kind of like a game over death animation for her if she, like, gets taken out. Um, like I said, all the art was made in GIMP and with a mouse. So, yes, I hand animated that and that in the same image in GIMP. It was painful. Uh... <laughs> But that's what this looks like. And then this was a 
like when the when it's officially game over she was gonna be like have this little like crying face and then it would say game over like over here or something um so that was a thing i made <laughs> and then this is an example of what happens when you don't have consistency with your uh lighting be sure to write down what transparency you did things and i just even bother shading animations like this anymore because it's it's too hard i don't want to deal with it <laughs> um but this was a bee i was gonna have bees and butterflies flying around and then they were gonna be points if they bumped into you or you bumped into them here's a butterfly i also have a couple recolors but i don't think i actually have the animations for them and if i do i'm not digging for them i have so many folders <clears throat> this was an enemy this is a mole um he doesn't really do much but just take up a square and if you touch him like you know it takes away like health or whatever he's aggravating but not much to that animation that animation was pretty simple to do and then we have the snail the snail, he's doing his best, right? You know, he's, he's just a snail. Snail do what snails do. Um, his thing was, if you touch him, he makes you go slower. And then this is, whoopsie doodles. I'm used to using, here. There we go. Uh, it's blurry because I've zoomed in, but as you can see, there's little fishies. This took me, uh, like, one or two hours to make just the little fishies to like not look weird but i'm really proud of how that one turned out i think that's my favorite thing i've ever animated for a game uh so yeah that's all of them right that's all the animations um yeah it's all the animations so with that i think i'm gonna close out the vlog now the rest of these vlogs are going to be me like learning how to use different programs, making maybe a little game. I've already mostly edited um, the second vlog. I've, I've already designed some characters and things to like use as sprites for me to learn how to make like something simple. The first program I'm going to learn is G Developer a little bit. I do want to screw around with Scratch, even though I know Scratch isn't the greatest. It'll like give me some foundation in how code works. My end goal is Godot, but I'm not rushing to Godot. I'm going to try other things first. But only free things, or free versions, because I do not have money <laughs> to be renting programs to see if I like them or not. And I don't really like subscription services for that type, that type of thing either. So yeah. Uh, that's that's gonna be it i hope you all enjoyed this video um if you watch dev vlogs please tell me what it is you're interested in seeing i know what i like to watch but tell me what you would like to see um don't know how many of these i'll make don't know if i'll get bored but for now this seems fun so i'm gonna try it out right and uh yeah i will see you all later my cat's being bad in the window what are you doing like, please like, subscribe, share, comment, all of that fun stuff, and I will see you all later. Bye!